Sahanavavatu, Sahano Bunhaktu, Sahaviryam Karavavahai, Tejas Vinavadhita Mastu, Mavid Vishavahai, Om Shanti Shanti Shanti. And welcome to class. All right, so we're going to start standing. And we're going to begin with some simple movements for the body. We'll start with the neck. So looking over your right shoulder and then over your left shoulder. Again, right and left. Back to center, right ear to right shoulder. Left ear to left shoulder. Head back to the right, over to the left, and center. Roll your shoulders back in big circles. Roll your shoulders forward. Inhale, shrug your shoulders up. Exhale, drop. Let go of tension. Inhale, up. Exhale, drop. One more time. Inhale, tense. And exhale, release. Link your hands together. Press out your upper back. Drop your chin. Take some deep breaths, expanding the ribs at the back. And release. Link your hands together behind your back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest, breathing deeply. And release. Good. Rolling your wrists around in big circles. Sometimes we forget about the wrists. But let's stretch them out this morning. Other direction with the wrists. And release. Good. And now twisting the body gently from side to side. Just let the arms swing at your sides. Good, and back to center. Good. And coming to the front of your mat, feet are hip distance apart. Standing up nice and tall, shoulders rolled back and down, belly button just slightly to the spine, chest is lifted. And taking a deep inhale to prepare, and a long exhale. Again, inhale deeply. And now exhale, palms together, prayer position. Inhale, reach your arms up, lengthen your spine. And exhale, fold forward all the way. Bend your knees any amount you need to. Get at least your fingertips to the mat in between the feet. Head is relaxed. Inhale, step your right leg back, drop your knee. Lift your chin, lift your chest, getting a stretch for the right hip. Taking a couple of deep breaths here. Let the right hip sink down towards the mat. Good, and stepping the left leg back, exhale into a child's pose. And inhale, up onto hands and knees, tuck your toes, and exhale onto hands and feet. Drop your left knee, step your right leg forward to the outside of your right hand, lift your chest, and drop your left hip, this time stretching the left hip, taking some deep breaths. If you feel comfortable, feel free to do your yoga practice with your eyes closed. We'll be moving slowly through the movements. So if you need to look at the beginning and then can close your eyes, feel free to do so. 
and then stepping your left leg forward to the outside of your left hand, drop your head in that forward fold again, knees as straight as you can make them, whatever that looks like. And then inhale, raising your arms up, lengthening your spine, and exhale, arms at your sides. Let's do it again on the other side. Take a deep breath in, and a long breath out, prayer position. Inhale, reach up, lengthen, and exhale, fold forward all the way. Inhale, step left leg back, drop your knee, lift your chin and chest. Right leg back, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, up onto hands and knees. Exhale, onto hands and feet, lift your tailbone, drop your heels. Drop your right knee, inhale, left leg forward, looking up. Step your right leg forward, drop your head, and inhale, reach up, lengthen, and exhale, arms at your sides. Again on the right, inhale, and exhale, prayer. Inhale, reach up, lengthen, exhale, fold forward all the way. Inhale, step right leg back, drop your knee, lift your chin and chest. Left leg back, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, up onto hands and knees. Exhale, onto hands and feet. Drop your left knee. Inhale, right leg forward, looking up. Drop your hip. Left leg forward, drop your head. And inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, arms at the sides, getting the heart rate up. Inhale, and exhale, prayer. Inhale, reach up, lengthen, and exhale, fold forward all the way. Inhale, step left leg back, drop your knee, look up. Right leg back, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, hands and feet. Drop your right knee, inhale, left leg forward, look up. Exhale, right leg forward, drop your head. And inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, arms at your sides. Inhale, and exhale, prayer. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. And exhale, fold forward all the way. Inhale, right leg back, drop your knee, look up. Left leg back, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, hands and feet. Drop your left knee, inhale, right leg forward, look up. Exhale, right, left leg forward, drop your head. And inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, arms at your sides. Last one, inhale, and exhale, prayer. Inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, fold forward all the way. Inhale, left leg back, drop your knee, look up. Right leg back, exhale, child's pose. Inhale, hands and knees. Exhale, hands and feet. Drop your right knee, inhale, left leg forward, look up. Exhale, right leg forward, drop your head. And inhale, reach up, lengthen. Exhale, arms at your sides, very nice. Take a couple of deep breaths, just standing tall. Notice that your heart rate has come up. And now we come back down to Shavasana to bring the heart rate back down again. Taking some deep breaths. As you inhale, abdomen rises, chest expands. And as you exhale, abdomen falls, chest falls. 
Letting go of any tensions from the body. Relax. bringing your feet together. Raise your arms overhead, get a long stretch from head to toe. And release. Good. And we're going to begin our class. You can come up to sitting. We're going to begin our class with either a shoulder stand, or if you're not comfortable practicing shoulder stands, you can simply raise your legs up to 90 degrees and hold them there. If you like, you can have your hands tucked under your bum for support. Or if you have a wall nearby, you can take your legs up on the wall. So coming into a seated position, if you're going to practice the shoulder stand and we'll roll up together, hands are at your sides, fingers pointed forward and rolling up, hands coming to the back, fingers pointed in towards the spine, Taking some deep breaths there. It doesn't matter if your shoulder stand is not straight to begin with or even to finish with. Just take some deep breaths, holding your body off the ground. If you weren't able to come up, give it another shot. Roll back again. Use more momentum. And as soon as your back comes off the mat, plant them on your, plant your hands on your back. If you'd like to do self-adjustment in the pose, bend your knees to your forehead. Walk your hands closer to your shoulder blades, elbows closer together, pressing up a little bit straighter. And coming into your final position and holding there, breathing deeply. We'll just hold for a short time. getting ready to roll out of the pose. Bring your arms down to the mat, use them as brakes, and slowly bending at the hips, rolling your back down on the mat, and come back to Shavasana. Resting on your back in Shavasana. The legs are apart, arms away from the body, palms up, Shoulders away from the ears, chin slightly tucked in. And letting go of any tensions from the body. Nothing to do but breathe. And 
now getting ready for fish pose. You're going to bring your feet together and roll from side to side, tucking your arms under your body. If you have trouble doing this, put your feet on the mat, lift your hips, link your thumbs together behind your back, wiggle your shoulders together, elbows together, sit on your hands, release your thumbs, and then stretch out your legs. Trying as best as you can to tuck the elbows under the body. Pressing into your elbows. Inhale, look up at your toes. Lift your chest and exhale, drop your head back. Top of the head coming down towards the mat. Taking deep inhalations and long exhalations. And taking one more deep breath, pull your breath right up to the collarbone. And lift your chin to your chest. Exhale, release, and come back again to Shavasana, taking a good rest there. Deep inhalations and long exhalations. bringing your feet together. Raise your arms overhead. Get a nice stretch from head to toe. Push your lower back down into the mat. Keep stretching and release. And then either rolling to the side and pressing yourself up or grabbing a knee to bring yourself up to sitting. Stretching your legs ahead of you. Getting ready for a variation on the forward fold. Tuck your right foot in towards your ankle, your calf, or your thigh. You just want your right knee to not be floating in the air. You want it to be relaxed. So stay relaxed in your hip. Choose a position where you feel ease. Inhale, raise your arms up. Lengthen your spine, lift your chest, and exhale, fold forward towards the leg. You can rest your hands on whatever part of the leg, or if you can grab the toes, take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toe, and relax there. Head is relaxed. Make sure your shoulders are relaxed. Let go of any need to reach or struggle in the pose. There's nowhere you need to be. There's no final position you need to reach. If you're folding forward, you're feeling a stretch in the back of your leg, knees straight, then you're doing it right.
Each time you exhale, you feel the muscles in the back of the leg, maybe the back as well, softening, lengthening, and releasing tension. And now planting your fingers on either side of your foot. Inhale, reach the top of your head forward. Lift your chest, inhale. And exhale, and then slowly walk your fingers back to help you up into a seated position again. So let's switch sides. Taking your right leg out. Left leg is in. If you started to notice tension creeping up in your hip on the other side, maybe take your foot a little closer to the ankle this time. Again, inhale, lengthen your spine, lift your chest, and exhale, fold forward all the way, resting your hands wherever they land. Relax your head, relax your shoulders. And once again, letting go of any need to reach any destination in this pose. There is no final destination. The pose is an experience. Being sure to keep your knees straight so that you can feel stretch in the back of the leg. Feeling the muscles in the leg, the back, shoulders, the neck, softening, lengthening, letting go. If you ever need to take a long exhalation or a sigh to release tension, a big block up of tension, then go ahead and do that. Don't feel you need to hold anything in or letting go. And now taking your fingers, planting them on either side of your foot or your leg. Inhale to reach the top of your head forward, lengthen and lift your chest. And then exhaling and then walking the fingers back all the way, bringing you up to a comfortable seated position. Cross the legs. Inhale, raise your arms up, pull your wrists back as far as they go. Exhale, press your chest forward. Let's do that again. You should feel stretch in through your arms and your shoulders as well. Inhale, exhale, press the chest forward. One more time, inhale up and exhale all the way down. 
All right, coming onto your abdomen. Resting in crocodile pose, Makarasana. Make a pillow with your hands, turn your head to the side. Big toes touch each other, but the heels fall apart. Let your shoulder blades melt off the sides of your back. This is one of our relaxation poses. Nothing to do here, but breathe. You'll notice as you inhale, your abdomen presses against the mat, giving a gentle massage for your abdominal organs and digestive system. bringing your forehead to the mat, heels and toes pulling together, hands linked together behind your back. Inhale to lift your chin, lift your chest, reach up with your chest as much as you can. If you can pull your hands off of your bum and do that, if you can straighten your elbows, then do that or work towards it. Take some deep breaths, feeling the expansion across the chest, strengthening in the back. Now, before we come out of the pose, separate your feet, mat distance apart, release your hands, reach them back to your heels, lift up a little higher, keep balanced on the navel if you can. One more deep breath, come up, 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 exhale, release, make a pillow with your hands, turn your head to the other side this time. Relax your back, relax your shoulders and arms. And now separate your feet, mat distance apart, arms ahead of you, mat distance apart. Getting ready for our variation on bow pose, a Superman pose. Inhale, lift your legs, lift your arms, your chest, your head, balancing on your navel, taking some deep breaths. One more deep breath in, come up, up, up. Exhale, release, bring your hands under your shoulders. Push up onto hands and knees, round your back up towards the ceiling or the sky if you're outside. And then slowly sit back in a child's pose, either knees together for more massage, on the abdominal organs or apart 
forehead resting either on the mat, your hands, or your fists, keeping a nice rounded back. Relaxing any tension from the back. Taking deep breaths, bringing the heart rate back down again. And now slowly rolling yourself up to sitting, sitting tall. And let's come into a comfortable cross-legged seated position. And taking your right hand over to your left knee, back of the hand. Left hand is behind you. Inhale, lengthen your spine. And exhale, look over your left shoulder. Deep inhalation, spine growing longer. And long exhalations, moving into that twist. Both arms are active. Your right hand is pressing against the left leg. The left arm is pulling you around behind you. And now inhale, your right arm up, lengthen, and exhale, release. Let's do the other side. Taking your left hand across the body, right arm behind, inhale, lengthen, and exhale, twist, deep breath. And one more deep breath in, raise your left arm up, lengthen your spine, and exhale, release. Let's move all the way up to standing now. And we're going to practice a standing twist. So actually, you're going to take your left foot, cross it over your right, get yourself steady with your balance. Inhale your arms out to the side. Exhale, drop your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, pull your belly button into the spine and twist yourself over to the left. Keep your arms wide open. If you have your balance, you can look back at your back fingers. If not, just keep looking ahead, keeping your head in line with the rest of your spine, which is twisting. Make sure you're pulling the belly button into the spine. There's no arch in the lower back, just a light tuck of the tailbone under. Feel your abdominal muscles working to twist you 
into this pose. And now bringing yourself back to center. Exhale, release your arms, uncross your legs. Shake your shoulders, shake your legs. Let's do the other side. So this time crossing the right leg over the left. Inhale, arms up and out to the sides. Shoulders drop. Take a deep breath in. And exhale, twisting to the right this time. Looking back at the back fingers, if you like, or neck in line with the spine. You should be feeling effort with the abdominal muscles, shoulders maybe getting a little tired. Keep breathing deeply so the muscles get all the oxygen they need to do the work. And then coming back to center, exhale, release, shake your shoulders out, shake your legs out. Great. Let's move into a side bend. Legs are wide apart, at least one leg length. So as long as your leg is, you have your feet that far apart. If you can't do that, that's fine. Just have them as wide as you can. We're going to start by taking the right foot out to the side, left toes slightly in, left arm comes up. Inhale, lengthen your spine and bend your right knee, dropping the elbow or the hand to your thigh, reaching Arm overhead, arm is in line with the ear, elbow is straight. Make sure your knee is not over your toes. Keep it around your ankle for safety. Feel a good stretch through your side. Reach as far as you can with those fingertips. Deep breaths. If you want an extra challenge, close your eyes and see if you can still hold it. Then it really, then you really realize it's a balancing pose as well. <laughs> and then inhale to come up, lengthen as you come up, exhale, release. Let's switch to the other side. Right toes come in, left toes go out. Right arm up, inhale, lengthen your spine and exhale, bending over to the left, reaching with your fingertips, arm in line with the ear, elbows straight as you can, reaching out. If you can't get your elbow down to that thigh, that's fine. You're resting your hand on your thigh and reaching up and out. Deep breath. Trying the eye close if you like. Keeping your breath steady. And inhale, lengthen to come up. Exhale, release. Very good. And coming back down to the mat. Let's hug the knees into the chest. Your choice. You can rock forward and back, rolling through the spine, or rock side to side, or both. Whatever feels best for you. We're just getting a massage for the back. We've moved the spine in all directions in this class. You might even do little circles with your knees massaging the back in that way. But we've moved the spine in all directions in this class. Let's keep it healthy. And now just thanking the back for going through all of those movements. 
giving a little massage. And then rocking yourself all the way to sitting. We have one final pose, which is a balancing pose. Good for the abdominal muscles. You're going to take your peace fingers, wrap them around your big toes with your thumbs. Get a good hold. Lift your chest and slowly tip back so that your heels come off of the mat. When you're comfortable there, slowly start to stretch out the legs. Let the legs go apart. Straighten the knees as much as you can. They don't need to be straight. You just need to be straightening them as much as you can while holding the balance. Now, final step is to lift the chest. Squeeze the shoulder blades slightly together to lift the chest. Take deep breaths here. You might roll back and that's totally fine. Just come back up, get your breath steady. Try it again. Good. One final challenge, if you like, slowly bring the feet together, hold your balance, release your hands, and hold there. A lot of abdominal work. From there, you can slowly start to lower yourself back down to your mat and relax in Shavasana. Move your feet in and out like windshield wipers. Relax any tension from the insides of the thighs and the groin. We'll do a little stretch for the groin as well. Tuck your heels in towards your bum. Drop your knees out to the side, soles of the feet together. Squeeze your bum. Take some deep breaths there, feeling that stretch through the insides of the thighs and the groin. And release, stretch out your legs. And getting yourself ready for our final relaxation now. If you need to put on any sweaters or socks or cover yourself with a blanket, make any adjustments you need so that you're going to be comfortable. We'll be there for about 10 minutes to fully relax the body and allow it to Take in all of the benefits from the class. Complete the rejuvenation for the body, the rest for the mind. Legs are apart. Arms away from your body, palms up, shoulders away from your ears. We're going to start with tension and release. Pick up your right leg a couple of inches off the mat. Point your toes. Flex your foot and drop. Left leg up, point. Flex and release all tension. Squeeze your bum tight, tense, tense, tense. And release. Push your lower back down into the mat, tense. Release. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Lift your chest and drop. Shrug your shoulders to your ears. Slide your shoulders away from your ears. Pick up your hands, make fists. Stretch your palms open wide, spread your fingers and release. <clears throat> Slowly roll your head to the right all the way. And then to the left as far as you can. Back to center. Tense all of your face towards your nose. Make a tight squished face. Release. Now we stretch the face. Open your jaw wide. Stick out your tongue. Roll your eyes up and breathe out. <sighs> Make any final adjustments if you need to. Make sure you're completely comfortable and can be still for the rest of your final relaxation. We'll begin now with auto suggestion. 
mentally following along as I suggest the body part, your mind goes there, only there, and tells that body part to relax completely. Starting with your feet and ankles, bringing awareness to feet and ankles, relaxing feet and ankles. And now the calves and knees, Awareness to calves and knees. Relaxing calves and knees completely. Now bringing awareness to the thighs. Front of the thighs, back of the thighs, insides and outsides of the thighs. Relax. Hips and bum. Relax. Lower back. Middle back. Upper back. Back is completely melted into the mat. Abdomen. Chest. Hands and wrists. Lower arms and elbows. Upper arms. Shoulders and neck. Jaw and tongue. Eyes, forehead, scalp, entire body is completely real. Relax, relax, relax.
body. Wiggle your fingers and toes. Draw your feet together and raise your arms overhead. Get a nice stretch from head to toe. And release. And gently roll to the side. And press yourself up into a comfortable cross-legged seated position. Closing your eyes. And I'll finish today with Shanti mantras. These are peace mantras. Enjoying the vibration of the sounds. Om Sarvesham Svastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Om Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti. Namaste.